welcome back guys and cows. Maddie and Wanda back again. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go through and do our Q&A. Uh, thank you guys so much for the questions you guys gave us. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump right into this one. First question comes from Backcountry Forward. Uh, for Maddie, what was the biggest mistake you've ever made in the backcountry? And for Wanda, who's a good girl? Well, obviously Wanda is a good girl. She's, uh, yeah, Wanda's amazing. Um, yeah, just, I, I can't say enough good things about this talk. I absolutely love this girl. She's wicked. Um, as for myself, the biggest mistake I've made in the backcountry, honestly, I would have to say my most recent trip uh, was when I made one of the biggest mistakes I made in the backcountry. Uh, there was a, a point in the trip where I very much let my emotions get the best of me and I was on my own separated from the group that I was hiking with and I didn't really tell anybody where I was going or what I was doing um, I mean truth be told I didn't really know where I was going I didn't know what I was doing um, I just yeah my emotions got the best of me and I kind of just took off on my own um, not the smartest thing I've ever done but uh, everything did work out in the end so yeah that was probably the biggest mistake I've made in the backcountry uh, next question from Jeffrey Dublitz 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 um, I've seen your buddy Marty do backpacking trips with subscribers. Is this something you'd ever consider doing? And what kind of dog is Wanda? Well, uh, we'll hit the Wanda one first. Um, I, we actually don't know what kind of dog Wanda is. Um, she's a good dog, but uh, Wanda came to us as a rescue. Um, so we don't actually know exactly what breed she is. We figure she's probably got some Border Collie and uh, some kind of retriever in her for sure. But uh, yeah, you wanna sit? Can you sit down? Good five, good girl. So yeah, that's uh, that's to the best of my knowledge, that's kind of what kind of dog Wanda is. And uh, to answer your question about whether or not I'm going to do any uh, hikes with subscribers, at this point in time, I honestly don't know. Um, I'm very torn on that. I I'm actually a very introverted person, so for me, going out with somebody that I don't know is like actually super intimidating. So. Yeah, I, I don't know. From Ricky Peck. Do you carry a rescue pack or bag to carry Wanda out if necessary? Uh, no, I do not carry anything specifically for that. Uh, I've looked into it. I came very close at one point to picking up uh, a rescue harness from Packapaw, the Packapaw rescue harness. But uh, when I kind of thought about it, I realized I carry enough stuff in my pack when I have my hammock set up with me with all the straps and the webbing that I'm carrying and you know different material and stuff that I have in my pack, I have the means to make something to haul her out if I needed to. So that's kind of been my justification to avoid carrying that uh, excess weight. Um, yeah, that's, but no, I don't carry anything specifically for that, but I do have the means to do it if I need to. So yeah, it is something I've thought about quite a bit, but uh, yeah, nothing we've thankfully had to put into practice at this time. Um, Pair Extrem. I can't help but ask with your last name, can you speak French? Uh, no, I do not. Uh, Marty chirps me about it all the time, but no, I do not speak a lick of French. Sorry, guys. Next question from Marty up north. My favorite trail. Uh, my favorite trail is Fryat Valley in Jasper National Park. I absolutely love that area. It is one of my most, uh, well, it is my most favorite place to go. I absolutely love Fryat Valley. Um, Wanda has not actually been to Fry Valley yet, but uh, there's a decent chance that uh, her and I are going to be making a solo trip there this year. That's kind of my hopes. So, yeah, hopefully I'll get back to Fry this year and take Wanda. She's not been yet. So, yeah, Fry Valley, Jasper. That's my favorite trail. And from Outdoor Serenity, the scariest encounter I've had on trail. Uh, scariest encounter I've had on trail, I... That's tough. Um, I mean, I, I've been bluff charged by grizzly bears a couple times. That's pretty intimidating. Uh, the situation I ended up with on my last hike out, that was pretty scary when I didn't know what was going on with a buddy of mine. And, you know, it was, yeah, I, I would say probably that probably, uh, yeah, the, the situation happened on my last hike where uh, one of my friends had to back out and we just, we didn't know what was going on, but, uh, everything worked out. He was totally fine. I got, he got in touch with me later on that evening through the inReach, but, uh, yeah, definitely. That was probably one of the scariest moments I've had on trail. Christina Logan, when did you start hiking and backpacking, and why not move close? Why not move closer to the mountains? Well, uh, for those of you guys that don't know, 
I currently live in Edmonton, Alberta, up in Canada. So I am about a four hour drive from places like Jasper and Banff and a lot of the areas I hike. Uh, the reason I don't live closer to the mountains is primarily for my family. Uh, I've had my whole, I've got my whole family within about a half an hour drive of me. So that's incentive enough for me to stay where I am. Uh, I've just, I've set my roots here. This is for the most part where I've lived my entire life. Aside from a four and a half years stint, uh, I lived up in the Yukon when I was a teenager. And that's actually what got me into hiking and backpacking was, uh, my dad taking me out with his buddies and going on hunting trips and, you know, four wheeling trips and doing hiking and stuff up there. So that's what got me into the hiking and backpacking. Uh, next one from D Tonsi. I saw on your channel that you often visit, often visit Glacier Lake in the early season. So my question is, are you the one that nabbed up all the Glacier Lake campsites for May 8th and 9th earlier today when reservations opened up? Uh, I can promise you it was not me. I actually did not book anything. I haven't booked a single thing through Parks Canada yet this year. So no, I promise you it was not me. Uh, next one from Wanda Berry. Uh, for Maddie, you've already answered all my questions, but I was wondering if you have a post about Kakwa Falls. I want to go there so bad. Um, Wanda, I've actually never been to Kakwa Falls. So I, yeah, it's, it's, it is on my list, but I, I just haven't got there yet. I have never been to Kakwa Falls. Um, and for Wanda, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Is it you? Are you a good girl? We'll take that one as a yes. Um, Linda Y. Uh, not exactly camping, hiking, backpacking related, but what is Wanda's food and her favorite treat? She's such a pretty girl. Well, that's you. You're a pretty girl. Uh, Wanda is on a Purina Pet Plan diet. Um, both my dogs are. Uh, Remy, they both eat different food. Um, Wanda basically just eats the Purina Pet Plan and Remy's a vegetarian. He has an allergic reaction when he eats animal-based proteins. He gets hot spots, so Remy is a vegetarian. Wanda eats the same food, just not the vegetarian version. Yeah, it's a Purina Pro Plan diet that she's on. How did you get involved with hammock camping? What was my first ones? Pros and cons, and same with tents. What's the ones that I use now? Uh, so what got me into hammock camping was I was pretty fortunate. My good friend, Eric, that I backpack with quite regularly, he's been using a hammock for years before I did. So I got to have naps in his hammock all the time. And on our uh, North Boundary Trail trip in 2017, we did a nine day backpacking trip with a group of friends. And I was taking naps in Eric's hammock every single day. And the naps I was having in his hammock was the best sleeps I had on trail that entire trip. So that's kind of what swung me over into going the hammock camping route. Hey, come here. Come here. Um, the first hammock that I got, I actually picked up right after I got off the North Boundary Trail. I picked up my Little Shop of Hammocks Warrior. That is the same blue hammock that I'm using now. I absolutely love that hammock. Um, yeah, it's the, the first hammock I've got. Um, I currently have uh, an Amok Dremor as well. Um, I haven't taken that out on a backpacking trip yet. It's, uh, it's a little heavy, a little cumbersome and awkward, but I, I may take it out on a backpacking trip, but I, I love that hammock for uh, racking out the yard. Um, pros and cons to hammock camping. For me, the big pro is just the quality of sleep that I get. I absolutely love it. Yes, um, Wanda loves hammock camping too, if you guys haven't been able to tell. But uh, yeah, it's, that's pretty much it. It's the, uh, the quality of sleep. There, there's a part of the hammock camping that really allows me to sort of expand on my like my love of gear and just my love of getting new stuff and trying new stuff. Um, I love the DIY aspect of hammock camping. I mean, I, I build my own whoopee slings and I build all my own suspension components and stuff like that. So I, I quite enjoy that. Um, but yeah, it's primarily the, uh, the quality of sleep that I get. That's what swings me over to the hammock. Um, as for tents, the very first tent I ever used on a backpacking trip, oh, well, we're like literally talking almost 20 years ago. I'm pretty sure I got it at like Canadian Tire, which is just a the big box store up here in Canada. It was like a little $50 one man tent. Um, it leaked on me, it was absolute garbage. But uh, yeah, that was the first backpacking tent I ever used. Uh, the tent I use now, I use an MSR Hubba Hubba NX. I use the two person tent. Uh, primarily, I'm almost always out with my dogs, and when I'm out by myself, I do enjoy having the little bit extra room in the tent with me as well. So, yeah, I rock the Haba Haba NX as my tent for uh, those times when I do have to live like a peasant and sleep on the ground. Uh, Linda, you also asked what Wanda's favorite treat is. Uh, Wanda's favorite treat is cheese. That's, uh, that's her absolute number one favorite treat in the world is cheese. 
or uh, carrots. She likes carrots a lot as well, or just any kind of dog treat that kind of works for her. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all we got for this one, guys. If this is a hit with you guys, definitely something we'll look to do in again in the future. But uh, yeah, that's that's all we got for this one now. So uh, as always, I'm Maddie. Thank you guys so much for watching, and Wanda and I will see you guys on the next one.